today's game is a great favorite of mine it features a brilliant great combo and this is something that's unusual because usually I play rapid games or you know blitz or even lightning where I do not do any tip of calculation this game features 10 move combo in a rapid setting so that's unusual in fact it has never been done before I mean it has never been done since before or since so I'm really excited to show you this game uh, it, there will be three combos but basically I'm just gonna go to the second one really quick but it's gonna be very long move one after another and if you here just for the puzzles just look into the timestamps in the description and just go there directly anyway let's begin so the opening is my favorite opening modern defense other variations and really this is a conservative way for, from white to open and I sometimes do that too so I don't mind this uh, pawn push is a little trick I managed to trap the bishop a couple times with a 1200 people this one is 1300 something so so I'm hoping this will work but it does not work because then the bishop can go there still that's a little trick over there anyway take this one capture text text and castle and castle so this is not a bad thing to open now we have entered the middle game and the score as you can see is zero equal equal position so the firework does not start until move 20 so watch out for that one anyway let's go rook attacking bishop trading queen this is uh, advanced uh, placement basically I'm trying to skill squares over here uh, in contrast to bishop squares over here so so move the knights up over there so advanced bishop versus advanced knight so so far we are uh, basically jostling for positions just trying to control the squares but not do anything other than that so far of course this also have a pressure over here but having done that you know so many times I don't mind at all I like it doesn't matter to me at this point so uh, basically pushing the pressure over there so now I, I have this uh, squares being controlled by my knights so anyway next move contesting the file over here so this is gonna be interesting uh, fireworks gonna happen anytime soon uh, defend 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 so that's a little trick over there uh, instead of capturing bishop directly I'll capture the rook first so it weakens the power going down the file over here because otherwise we'll have double rooks over here so it weakens the file then I capture of course this because there's a possibility that the queen can go here uh, so if my rook can go here that that's going to be a problem depending you know which one going to go first over here so this so this is very close to explosion here uh, hang on a second yeah very close uh, so this is move number 19 attacking the queen which is what I did with my knights over here yeah that's that's the same thing uh, two can play the same game basically if you remember that one we both pitch the uh, we both pin the queen to the king you know so so that was a very fun game this one okay this one <coughs> we're gonna go get the 
something really nice over here. The knight. White has just moved the knight to d1. What should I do? And this is the answer. Knight captures pawn. As you can see, nothing's, uh, you know, nothing's guarding the knight. So pretty much trading the knight with a pawn. So now this is move number uh, twenty. Move number twenty over here. So so watch out for that because this is the beginning of a brilliant, great combo over here. Next move. Queen has just captured the knight on c2. What should I do? Fork the queen and the rook. Let me see. Anyway, white has just moved the queen out of danger to d2. What should I do? Check. So, the queen has just captured the knight on e2. What should I do? Pin the knight to the queen. Easy. So, uh, attack twice, defended once. Uh, attacker win. This is what White did. White has just moved the pawn to f4. What should I do? Put the pawn. To the knight. Basically, that knight is a goner at this point in time. So, of course, the computer has predicted it since move 21 over there. So, you know, so, so that's basically what happens. But, you know, it's, it's a long combo. So, I'm really proud with this thing over here. Really happy with this game. Anyway, uh, next move. The knight has just moved to c4. What should I do? Now, if you thinking of doing check over here to get out of here, I won't do that because, you know, the knight can go here. Of course, there's a... And of course, the pawn can go there, over there, so that will be gone anyway. But it's not something that's a very brilliant thing to do. So that, that kind of combo is, is not a good combo. This is what I did. Capture. Queen. Knight captures. Uh, queen, of course, that's... Um, um, I guess I should just move, make the move because this is so obvious by this point in time. Even though it's a time of combo, this is move number six. So check for the king and the knight. Next move. The king move out of the way, of course. Capture the knight. So this is uh, move number seven already. Uh, however, that's not all because with this one, I can see that's obvious thing over here. One over there and then move over there. So I see this one over here. So naturally, net takes pawn and check takes the pawn over there. And of course, there's natural pawn right there, right? So, so take the pawn. At this point, I can go here and net takes pawn and uh, rook takes pawn and that and basically I got a pass pawn so I'll just pack the rook somewhere over there and push the pawn up and I will win but but I'm trying to 
do something you know unique here so basically I pushed a pawn for safety and the king and the knight basically move away this is to prepare for the pawn to move over to promotion and square over here now uh, so that's the combo right there this is the position where uh, I see when I first uh, move the pawn I moved the knight to take the pawn over there when I did that move 20 I saw this thing over here that's move 30 that's move 30 so that's 10 move combo over there so I'm really happy that I can see this thing over here on a rapid gameplay you know rapid time setting anyway next move the knight move there attacking king side I'm hoping to get some kind of a barrier to corral the king over here and white of course thing hey yeah, pass pawn push it and I'm still thinking barrier now this is the second combo over here this is what I've been waiting for uh, in the in the position before over there instead of moving the rook there or rook there you know this this is what I've been waiting for over here because that's uh, oh basically this is just an in between move uh, push the king back and then do the do the move there so this is the second combo the beginning of the second combo over there and there's so many different ways that can go over here I'm not going to go through all the variations I mean the game is long enough as it is so I don't want to waste your time here but this that's a uh, natural move over here and that's lock basically if the knight moves the pawn is gone if the knight does not move well it's gonna be stuck stuck there forever uh, you look at this thing over here that's move 36 you look at the squares over here all the squares are covered with the rook putting on uh, uh, securing that file over there so my position is extremely solid there. over there with that in mind mm, let's keep going so now it's the battle of the king uh, can the king goes forward over here can the king goes over that over there well the king's not going to be able to do anything over there alone king not going to be able to do anything over here so what is better off trying to attack this side over here in the meantime I'm attacking the, the knight over there so there you go <coughs> and that's a wrong move because suddenly the knight is lost the knight is lost just like that boom knight is lost there you go and there's nothing to get the knight look at the different places that the knights can go so all the squares are covered except these two squares over here and if uh, the knight goes here basically just take that one and all the squares would have been all the squares would the knight can go would have been covered so then rook goes here king goes there and the knight's gone so yeah this is this is when this is a mistake there over there <coughs> basically the king does that the knight is lost gone just like that and this is the second move possible over here and just take that one all the squares that the knight can go for is covered oh now white moved the pawn that they should have done they should have moved that like long time ago right uh -huh. so and that's it right there boom that's uh third combo over here uh, take that notice again everything is covered everything is covered right there locked 
So again, everything is covered over here. All the squares here are covered. Now at this point in time, I made a little inaccuracy over here. So over there. Move there and put it over there, right? So I made a little inaccuracy over there. That is a better way to handle this thing, this position. That's a better way to handle this position than moving the, the rook to this square. So, uh, if you think about it, this is just a king, just one long, long king, not doing anything. So what I should have done, what I should have done, is I should have moved it over here. And the king is covered basically only on this squares. The king cannot go anywhere else. So this is all the places that the king can go. That no matter what, the king can only go there. The pawn is uh, solid, lock, lock solidly over there. Cannot go over here, cannot go past this square over there. So once the rook moves there, no matter what happens, no matter what the king does, I can just go do this. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. And then after that, eight, nine, ten, over there, uh, gets to the queen. And then eleven, over here, queen, queen goes here, eleven, uh, and then twelve. And then 13. So that's a 13 move combo right there. Boom. Just like that. And I don't care what the white king does. Like that's 13 move combo right there. So I could have done it that way. I did not do it that way. I did it this way. And then that way. And then I moved the king. So yeah. That rook should have been over there. At the square. And then the king would go take out the pawn over there. And I would win. But at this point in time, what decided to resign? So I guess that's good enough. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this game as much as I do. And I'll see you tomorrow.